Good morning, YouTube friends. Um, it's morning time, and I've got, I just got out of a meditation, and I've laid back down. I'm off today, thank God. Um, and I was thinking about the week, my turkey eating episode, and macaroni and cheese, and just overindulging on Thanksgiving, and um, just eating a lot of things I don't ordinarily eat. And just how crappy I felt since then. And I've really just kind of overeaten. My daughter was home from college and she's not a huge eater, but we've been, you know, going to restaurants and we've, we always eat healthy when we go out, but still, it's not like home cooked, you know, wholesome, raw, fresh food. So I just really have been feeling crappy. And I've been acting crappy uh, to everyone. I've got raging PMS. And I'm just seeing that eating well makes a difference in other aspects of your life. For one thing, I'm sore. I went out and did a crappy run this weekend. I couldn't do what I could do two weeks ago. I was so disgusted with myself. And because of my personality style, what did I do? I kept pushing and pushing and pushing until I, you know, I didn't, I don't have an injury, but I was really hurting. So, uh, it definitely impacted my athletic performance. It's also impacted my attitude. My PMS is so out of control. I just want to strike out at every person. Um, just acting up. And I've got myself under control, but it's just really hard. And I never have that if I'm eating vegetarian. That's one of the main reasons I went vegetarian. It really helps control my PMS. If you have out-of-control PMS, even if you don't go vegan or raw or anything, going vegetarian, for me, was a huge difference. And I just feel very out of sorts, so... I've got some green juice in the fridge. I'm going to drink that. Try to eat some salads this week. Do mostly green juice and salads. If I want to eat something else, I will. But I'm going to definitely improve my diet and get back on track. I need to go to the farmer's market and just kind of get myself together. So I just made this video just to chronicle my early morning meditate coming out of meditation um, stuff and two I think part of it is also family dynamics it's really sometimes hard the people we love the most can really aggravate us the most probably because they mean something to us but I really got aggravated over the holidays with my family and I don't know I'm just hoping that I can have a better attitude over the holidays. I'm not a holiday person. But, you know, it's a time where a lot of people feel a lot of cheer, and I want to be one of them. So one of the things I can do is to do the things that I know work, which is eat well, do my meditation, which I haven't done in a long time, and just stay grounded and centered and um, enjoy uh, Enjoy the season like a lot of other people do. So until next time, I wish you much love and um, stay on track as best you can over these next few weeks. I'm gonna, uh, I'm pretty committed to staying vegetarian. I'm not gonna have another slip up. I'm not cooking anything I don't eat anymore. Period. Ever. End of sentence. No more. So um, until next time, I wish you much love. God bless and goodbye.